Another day in the erotic adventures of Tenji. <laughs> well, my timing was way off on that one. <laughs> and brains. Oh right, she did that. It was power. You said kill demons and I killed demons. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right. Denji's going to be the one to control a woman. Although he has a better chance with her than Mikami. I got the sense, even from just Power's introduction, that they as a pair feel more like on an even level. I don't think Power's as masterful a manipulator as their boss. Although the way Denji is now, he could be manipulated by a gentle breeze if it smelled like perfume. If there was a hint of woman in it. <laughs> They're both under her thumb. <laughs> I love how he's just getting along with all of his new co-workers, all of his colleagues. He's a perfect fit. Is this flirting? <laughs> Are we flirting? <laughs> this is flirting at like the third grade level. Damn, she's powerful, huh? She's got some kind of force, and it's not magic. Just good old human genius. She sees what I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it magic? I don't know. I mean, it definitely feels like magic. It is like a strange power that you just end up losing yourself in sometimes. I was actually thinking after the second episode, it's kind of easy to criticize Denji. And just in general, I feel like in pop culture, there's a lot of talk about people, especially guys kind of groveling over girls they like. People are still talking about simps, you know? And there was a time when that was like, that word was just everywhere. But I think if, if we're being realistic, like truly honest, everyone is a simp for someone. If you haven't experienced that depths of obsession for someone to the point where you feel like you're losing yourself and you're compromised, it might mean that you're very strong and well put together. <laughs> but if I had to guess, I'd say it's more likely that you just haven't had exposure or have access to the type of people who would do that to you. Because there is almost definitely someone out there for whom almost everyone would fall into that. Or maybe I'm just uh, trying to make myself feel better <laughs> for my own weaknesses. Oh yeah, this really captures the essence of Japan. <laughs> that was me in Osaka. Or is she just attracted to light? Is she like an insect? Don't! What is it with her and cats? Was that foreshadowing last episode? Do not touch it. All these options in Japan and you're drinking water? <laughs> what kind of thirsty are we talking about here? Hey, there we go. There we go. That's such a huge relief. She likes cats. Right? Why am I on edge? She loves cats. She's a cat lover. Hell yeah. Plus 5,000 points. Aww. Or meowie. Oh, there's a chance to save her. I understand. You shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. Fair. This show's crushing it with the realistic and relatable motivations. I also like how he just said that out loud to his part, his female partner. <laughs> but yeah, he should understand. He can vicariously understand the love for pets. You got yourself a deal. And just like that, we have a compelling plot. <laughs> He's going down. Exactly. This <laughs> is so great. This is hilarious. Damn right. Why is this the most compelling story I've ever <laughs> seen? <laughs> Oh, all these years of deep storylines and character arcs and what is the value of a human soul? It turns out it's cats and boobs. That's the ultimate. We may have peaked with this with this show, I think. This opening keeps growing on me. And now I know who these people are. You gotta sign her out like a library book? We're just going right for it. And I'm sure that Power has Denji's health as her chief concern in this mission. <laughs> oh my god, even the philosophical conversation. You're right, Power. Anything you say is correct. Exactly. Ex how did I know that? I'm surprised he didn't laugh. Nah, I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Okay, international politics. 
That just blew open the scope. Oh, no, 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 no. I've seen enough anime to know a lot of the evil will be human as well. I know it's a little bit like uh, obvious and cliche at this point, and I mention this in every anime. I think it's just partly due to the fact that just so much comes from it. Also the fact that it was my first ever anime, but I'm always feeling the Evangelion influence. I got a very uh, Seal and Misato vibe from that scene. I'm really curious to know what Mikami's actual goal is and where her loyalties really lie. And I, I would sort of be surprised if it was to a council. She seems like someone who knows what she wants and who she is to the point where she doesn't need a group of people to define that for her. And so her allegiance to other people will be conditional on how aligned it is with what she wants, which means she'll probably be able to do whatever she needs to and part ways if necessary. That could also include her being a great sort of mother figure or older sister figure to the kids. It just depends on what she stands for. Chainsaw hands. <laughs> Got big chainsaw hands and one on his head. And he's kind of pure, uncorrupted yet. That's our mission. Interesting. Some mythological lore. A chainsaw man could be pretty good, pretty strong. This is just jealousy and being threatened, talking. Although, there's definitely going to be some truth to what he's saying. I mean, Denji's green. She doesn't even know he has powers. And she's just sending him in. I'm sure it was an innocent mistake. Please tell me Maui was real. Please tell me Maui was real at least. <laughs> I want to believe Maui was real. She's using him as what, like a like bait? Oh no, she has to feed it. You're the one who started the conversation. <laughs> that was it? That was the last morsel that he needed? Where's Miaoi? No! I feel so betrayed. But Miaoi is real, right? <laughs> yes, Miaoi is real! Thank God! Thank... Thank God. But she's the one who's being trusting, no? She's the one who's being too trusting. Miaoi's alive! Save Miaoi. She was just criticizing him for being so trusting. This is her natural state. She was gonna eat it, but she didn't. My emotions are all over the place right now. I don't know what to think. <laughs> but then she fell in love with it. There's nothing like sleeping with a cat on your chest. There's still a chance. I've seen anime, I know you can go in into its stomach and live. Eren did it. I just saw something else where that happened, what was it? Did I dream that? I can't remember for the life of me what show that was. Get him, Denji. Do it for Miaoi. And boobs. Ooh. She's going in after it. Um... How are we gonna catch up to it now? I guess power is hitching a ride. <laughs> if this devil was smart, he would just toss him. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I mean, the premise for Denji is boobs, right? But he's got real heart. And that's gonna emerge more and more as the show comes goes along. This is so beautifully done. That was such a great shot. With his feet, no less. He's ahead of Deku's schedule by like 100 episodes. Yes, he can. Or he can just catch it. Oh, he just... 
Oh yeah, that's a new power. I don't think I realized that that was part of it. Oh, what is that? Oh, I, that's, I don't like that. Oh, he's a bad. Nice. Whatever that appendage was, was horrifying though. Do bats have that? Never mind. I don't want to know. End of that was coming. He looks great doing it though. And that was when the bat knew he effed up. That's a shot right there too. They put a lot into this fight. Just every shot is so dynamic. <laughs> the, the sparkling. <laughs> it rains blood. I just snotted all over myself. That was so good. The details though. Man, that was good. Oh yeah, we have a new ending, right? Or slight changes every time. I wonder, I feel like a lot of these are gonna look very different in hindsight as more of the show comes out. And it's a whole different song too. Whoa, look at this. What am I watching? This is awesome. <laughs> I'm getting some uh, Death Note vibes from this a little bit. And feminine beauty to balance it out. Cleanse the palate a little bit from that raw energy. This is so interesting. It's all over the place. Oh, I put you in his heart, like you said. It's like a whole music video. Wow. I'm sort of blown away by that. Not just the ending, but the whole episode. You never know, right? I mean, going into the show, all I knew were the words Chainsaw Man, the title. And so I didn't really take it very far in terms of my expectations of what it would be, except for, you know, a show with blood and chainsaw and a man. But I think it just goes to show it's it's in the intangibles. You know, it's not necessarily in the, the basic premise. It's in the depth and the heart and the attention to detail. And so far in just three episodes, the show has really impressed me because I feel like Denji is one of my favorite protagonists so far out of shows I've watched. Not as a whole, but in terms of the introduction, in terms of how much I already like his character and I'm sort of rooting for him. He is seemingly simple on the surface, but the writing feels self-aware enough that I know it's not, that's not it. There's a lot more to him. And even the, you know, the very seemingly basic I'm in it for boobs thing also I think is kind of rich and is real enough as I've spoken about before. Simple is okay if simple is deep and more importantly maybe if it's real and conveys somewhat of the nuance of being a human being and navigating the difficulties of having a physical body with aspiring for something higher, something more connected to other people and maybe by extension the universe. A lot of interesting themes being teased here, being set up. I don't exactly know where it's going, but it's enough that it's really intriguing and it's very compelling. But then on top of that, I'm not a very visual person. Typically, I know I don't comment a lot on animation and design or whatever, but even for me, this show is pretty stunning. I mean, that fight was something else. It's only the, what, second real fight sequence? I mean, I feel like you could go shot by shot through that fight and hard to find one that missed. And it's, it's little things I noticed too. Too, like the steam that comes out of his breath, you know, the sparkles on his chains, the bat emerging out of the fog. It's just so great. Then to top it off with the ending, you get the sense that the people who are making this show really care about it, really love it. And that's always a, a great sign. That gives me a lot of faith as a viewer that I can invest myself fully in it and trust where it's going. So I'm really pumped about the show. It's like exceeded my wildest expectations, at least through the third episode.